Welcome back everyone, today I have another video for uh, OP3, this time uh, I have Zoro as I think this deck is just insane of how good it is right now in this next upcoming meta. OP3 is just value after value after value and you don't ever run out of gas. <laughs> That's just what it is this deck. Um, it's basically just one drop CD that just gets replaced themselves. And you're able to attack with them with the leader. Uh, at the end of all of that, I want to just play the white beer, play the teach, or play the Marco uh, to be able to win the game on the back of these three cards. So the deck is consist consists of like these searchers: Nami, Isu, uh, Bug B Buggy, and uh, Curly the Dan. Uh, these three searcher for another card in the deck. Let's look at the numbers that I have in this deck for a Straw Hats. I have a minus the four Namis. I have 15. It's a good number. It, uh, she will miss from time to time, but it's not a, like a terrible number. Uh, for White Beard Pirates, I have 12 minus the three ISO. Uh, it's fine. She's just trying to search like the, the, the extra pieces. Uh, like these three cards here uh, are the main targets for uh, four cards here are the main targets for ISO. Uh, for uh, Wano, doesn't matter. Supernovas don't matter. Uh, for extra cards, I don't think I can see that here. But, okay. Uh, that doesn't matter. For extra cards, I see here I don't have 12. That one is the one that is going to miss the most. And the Dan should not miss mass much, actually, because I have four tw uh, 12, 16, 20. So that's the one that is should not miss that often, because it's the one that I have the most. And uh, Brook is just a good card with Zoro, because you can... Uh, Attack with one of your one drops and also develop another threat at the same time. Uh, it's very good. Marco is good in the mirror and it's good in like matchups where they have a lot of removal because you can just keep bringing it back. Uh, it's really important. Teach is very good like against white beer type decks because uh, you can sack your one drops after you attack with them and then you get a car and you attack for like eight with the teach basic for for uh, like base with the leader. So that's really good. Uh, Joshu is just a 2k counter that you can search with Tizo because you need more names so she's actually more active. Uh, you can get more extra cards that are white beer pirates but I felt like those cards are not as good. Maybe you do have or you do need them for the mirror. I'm not entirely sure yet. This is just my first draft of the deck. Uh, it could be that you need more cards uh, for like specific matchups and you have to like um, like Trim some cards at the same time, but I mean this is what I have at the moment I have them at three because I was drawing too many of those and I'd rather I mean you can search them with ease for the most part So if you want to see these cards, you can you get to see them uh, uh, Consistently enough because all the deck is way too consistent. So you get to search your pieces uh, uh, that, that you're missing very often. It's not even that, that big of an issue. Uh, Buggy does search uh, only the extra cards, but they're like the really good extra cards. They give you they give you more turns because it's basically like a blocker, uh, or like it just allows you to defend very well. And the Jet Pistol is just for decks that you need to do Jet Pistol or Otama Jet Pistol. It's not really that needed because you're just trying to flood the board and attack with what you have. But there are arguments to play more removal in the deck because you're playing so many one drops. Um, but it's still, it's difficult to add more removal when you're trying to fit four searches in the deck. Like, that's not that easy to do. Four, like, fit four searches in the deck and make the deck cohesive enough. Uh, so I think this is, uh, like, a decent list. I'm sure there's other ways to play the deck uh, in OP3. Uh, but this one looks very, very powerful. Uh, and I have to get some games to show. Let's go see them. All right, and we're going to go against... Karakuri, um, I don't know how the um, deck goes. I think I'm gonna mulligan. I want more one drops. Uh, didn't get them, but it's fine. This one might actually miss, as I was thinking. It didn't, but it could have because I had a lot of targets in my hand already. However, this hand is okay, it's not actually that amazing. But it should be fine. All I need to do is buy myself some time to um, to play the white beers. Oh, pudding. Okay, that is something that I was not expecting. 
if I'm being completely lit. No, I mean, not, it's not that I wasn't not expecting it. It's just like... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's the best play that they can do. Again, I'm just new to the format, so I don't know what exactly was going to happen. Uh, maybe double pudding would be really good. Oh, wow. He did have double pudding. Um, it's fine. I have a Marco too. Uh, but that does stop me a little bit from attacking with my ESO. We'll see. A Corley the Dan would be really good right now. I did not get it. Mm. Hmm. I wonder if I should play my my Brook here. I'll attack for six. See what he wants to do. I will play the Brook. Just try to deal some damage here. Early on. For some damage. Yeah, he can destroy the ESO, but that's fine. My hand is a little bit expensive, so I have to use it uh, adequately. And yeah, if he's discarding cards, that's that's okay. Next turn, I'm going to probably play a Marco. Oh, he's going to look at my life. He's going to play a blocker. <clears throat> yeah, that's okay. I might want to attack his... Uh, Pudding and stuff, but I don't know. Maybe not. Does this have a life restriction? No, it doesn't. I just have to discard one event. Just fine. Uh, he attacks for seven. I'm definitely gonna take it. No trigger. I assume he's gonna attack. He didn't attack my Izo. Well, that is surprising. I want to see what he does now. He combos a five. Interesting. <clears throat> now I have the card that I can pitch to my Marco. But I should be okay for the rest of the game, I think. I might even keep up the Radical Beam. Just so I don't just randomly die to my opponent. He combo a lot of cards. He could be playing Charlotte. And that's the that's maybe that's the way to play this deck against uh, these rush leaders. Uh, grant my opponent one life. I think is fine. It's like them drawing one car, I guess. No trigger. I don't know why he didn't attack with the puddings, but. It should be fine. I'll attack for six. I'll play the teach. Oh wow, he got combo out of everything, eh? It should be fine. Still gonna have to take some damage some way, sometime. And then next turn I'm gonna play a, a white beer. So it's gonna be easy to defend. And then the turn after it doesn't even need energy. Wow, that's insane. <clears throat> I don't think I mean maybe that's the way to play against this deck but you need to get to a hive light total with Charlotte and do back to back maybe that's the way did you win this matchup doesn't seem like the best idea ever but it is what my opponent is doing Karakuri but he cannot attack with it because I mean, he hasn't done anything. Um, he should attack my uh, ESO, I think. Oh, he's attacking life? Interesting. I'll outcombo to that one because, I mean, I know he attacks for 7 here. He can also take a life. Um, okay, I'll take this one. That's a very... Mediocre draw to be honest. I'm gonna be playing white beers, not that one. Um I'll attack here. Then I'll attack here. Then Okay, so he plays the Purse Sparrow, that's fine. 
I'll attack here. Use ability. Uh, this car. Oh, wait. It doesn't work on my own? Oh. Okay. Well, that's fine. On attack for seven. Uh, my opponent still doesn't have a hand, so I don't know how he's gonna get out of this one, but. I guess he plays the 10 drop here. Okay. And then pressures me here a lot. It's the best that he can do. But this is only gonna be a 5k. Um, I'll come out of that one. Oh yeah, that one dies. Uh, that's a 6k. <laughs> My opponent is not reading the, at least the attack of the cards. <laughs> I'll play a second white beer. I think it's good enough. I'll attack here. See what he wants to do. I should have a Marco, by the way, but whatever. Not the biggest deal. That's to be a 4k or more, but I don't want to put myself too low so he can kill me with something else. Definitely not a turn that I could just go for game. So I do need to uh, respect that a little bit. Uh, grant my opponent one life here. I don't want to go to zero. Against a 12k attacker. <laughs> that is for sure. Uh, grant my opponent one life. That's fine. And that's a really good car, actually. Mm, I think I can Radical Beam get out of this one. And then if he attacks for a big number here, might be able to get out of that one. Nine. No blockers. One, two. That is important. Because I think I have to KO the uh, the 10k. Fifteen at the uh, Lin Lin. See if uh, he's gonna outcome out of that one. He's not. Um, let's play the boogie first. See what I get. It's not what I wanted. Let's play another one. Oh wait. Yeah, let's play another one. Okay, so I did get the radical beam, which is what I was looking for. Uh, so I need two energy. Everything else is decided, so it's fine. I can attack with this one for five. Then attack with this one. KO the Brook. Draw a car. That's not what I wanted to draw for sure. <laughs> but I do get to attack for eight. And I get to attack for seven. For six, I mean. And for a big number here. 11. Okay, and I should be able to survive one more turn. Me oh, maybe no. It depends on how he attacks, actually. Oh, he gave himself another life. But that's fine, unless he's going back to my board, which I highly doubt it. Um, mm, okay. I might still be able to KO him this, this turn. And he might not be able to take the last life. No, he might actually. Nine. Okay. Well, I have to go for game next turn. Uh, there is no other option. But it's a high possibility that I can do that. Um. No blocker. Radical beam. <clears throat> um. I should be able to hit for five. Uh, swing with the Zoro for 7, then swing for 8, swing for 12, swing for 12. It should be enough. 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe a blocker could stop me, but not really. So this is for five. Maybe he has more healing. I don't know what happens if you don't have enough to banish me. I don't know what happens there. But attack for seven here. Then attack for nine. Which this one gets 1k. So he's at seven, eight. So I only need one more. Uh, use action on this one. Draw a car. Attack for nine. Should not be able to get out of that one. And then attack for 11. 11 should not be able to get it get out of that one. All right. 2, 4, 11. Yeah, exactly. So 11, you should not be able to get rid of 11. And then the rest on this one. And that should be game. <gasps> the blocker, but it doesn't matter because that blocker, I can get through that one with this one. And just go for game. I mean, it was a close game. It was able to combo out of all my attacks. I didn't have a good hand, though. I only had one searcher. I mean, I guess I also had the boogie, but... I think you always keep a hand with a Dadan, because it can get you another uh, one drop. Um, but of course, my Dadan doesn't. <laughs> Even though there is a billion one drops, that's the one that I should have missed. <laughs> But it's fine, uh, not the biggest deal. Not something to cry over. I'll take it. Um, let's play the Dan, see if we can get... Really? Wow. Okay, well. Ah, uh, there they are. <laughs> Uh, it should be fine still. La doesn't really deal with uh, aggression and some removal as well. Uh, it's gonna be very good for me. No, uh, that's fine. He kills Boogie because he's the only one that is hard to kill actually. Like he doesn't die, die to slash characters, which the leader I the leader is. So. <laughs> I think next turn I'm gonna do Jet Pistol because I don't have any other play. I assume he's gonna do Law Swap and do all this stuff. Yeah, he got a Law. I don't think he's gonna attack though. At least not with that one. Yeah, yeah. Attacking for 7, I will take it. But now I can just play the Nami. And that should be good enough. Uh, Nami is going to give me a, another guard point. And at some point I will be able to attack with this, the dance and this, all these cards. Just a matter of time. This one has to get him another law. Not always possible. And I have a lot of defense, so I should be okay. And I'm going to take one more hit. He doesn't have much pressure on board at the moment. What did he get? Uh, Azoro. Zoro is okay, I can KO it with Rotama or... I mean, there, there's many different ways to KO the opponent's board here. The idea is to apply the pressure here, but it, the law is the only card that really matters in, 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 in my opponent's end. Like, if he doesn't have law, he cannot swap the loot, the, the bunny. And if he can't swap the bunny, it's really bad for him. 
And now, does this have required to be... Oh, uh, yeah, it has to be a, a, a white beer pirate, but... It should be fine. Okay, so he swapped for a Dadan, so he doesn't have to lose the, uh, the bunny. But I am about to attack for a lot. Ah, and if I get a white beer, it might be even better. He got a Nami. Probably will replace something on board. I don't know, maybe. I don't know if they're playing uh, uh, Jet uh, jet Pistol. The new law, I don't know. He already swapped. So I guess this energy goes to waste. Because he doesn't want to tap his characters because I can just KO them. Oh, he he just KO one card. Oh, very nice. I love that. Uh, and I'm gonna start attacking. It's time. Sevens is the way. Six. Oh, that's a six only. Well, it's fine. Seven. I guess he's gonna take that one. There's no way he combos out of that one or blocks. He blocked. Okay. Attack for six. And just develop my board completely. And then I, I might try to defend some of the cards that I have. Uh, or I just, if he attacks them, I can attack them back. So I do want to defend the cards that I have. So I can... Um, pressure his board and his life next turn i'm not as scared of dying because i have enough radical beams to where that should not be an issue and um yeah which should be okay uh yeah that one dies that's not nah, that's the one that i'm not gonna defend now these brooks have to attack for good numbers actually if not, I'm just gonna defend them. Or he might not attack with them, but then I. Oh wow, he used a jet pistol on my brook. So good. That is free real estate right there. He might attack with Beige now. I don't know. He wants to swap, he wants to play a Bonnie. He needs to have another one drop here. There's many things that need to happen on this board. Okay, so he is attacking. For good numbers here he knows that i will defend my board but since he's doing this i can just play this kind of game uh every one drop that i draw is just gonna be good for me and he has to rebuild his board every time at the same time as uh like saving the uh attackers that he's got i'll let that one die because i mean it's fine i don't have rushers however I think he wants to use the... Yes, yes. Uh, but I was going to save it anyway. Mm. I think I'll do this one. Now I'll just... Oh my goodness. That is so good. Attack this one here. Oh, he defended that one. Yeah, I can understand why, but I am going to try to KO this one, I guess. Could have done it on the Zoro. It's fine. If he wants to KO my Dadan, that's what he's there for right now. Now the White Beer is just my win condition at this point. He needs to get a, 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 a good blocker here. And I just want to use her as distraction. I have enough counter power to... I should be able to cross the finish line. Even probably next turn I should be able to. <laughs> uh, I, Yeah, that's fine. He's gonna... What, what did he get? Uh, he got a law. Okay. So he's working on full... How he's supposed to be working. That's fine. 
Attacking for five at my Dadan. It's not that good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. He needed to do better than that, yeah. And then from there, I, I could probably even kill the um, the law next turn and attempt to go for game. We'll see what he does. Because he does need to get like a radical beam for me, for, like for me to not be able to kill him next turn. If I play both double Otama, and I still have like three radical beams to like go for game if that doesn't work. So I should be okay. Let's see what he does. I know he has a law. And I know my opponent. Um, okay, so he did do the swap right now. I think he wants to know what he's going to draw first. No, he's just going to use Bonnie again. No, he's going to use Brooke. Okay. Depends on how much he attacks here with. I might have to combo out of that one. Because I have enough combo to out combo like the big attack, but not to out combo a small attack. He might not even want to attack with anything because he wants to do a dual attack with something else. I'm not sure. Okay, so he does want just one attack. And that's fine. I'll take it. Because now I can force his hand. And force him to out combo a lot of the cards in his hand. And then I will kill and destroy this one. He has to take it. Oh, I should have been for 13, but he's not gonna out combo to this. And then here I'll just. I guess I'll just do 9. Because that's a radical beam plus something else. The bunny, hopefully. And I should be able to survive with these cards. And one life. And he's thinking about the bunny. Like, that's the decision that I wanted to put it on. Like, the bunny or something else. And he does have to combo the bunny. So now, I don't know what he kept, though. Uh, what could be so important that you need to keep the bunny. That you need to combo the bunny out. Maybe he does have the dual attacker. Oh, okay. So he's going to split the attacks. Trying to go for game. Uh, definitely not gonna take that one because I can just have combo at 2k. He plays a blocker, but the blocker doesn't do anything. Uh, he has to have a dual attack here, I think. That's the only way that he gets into this game. So, another five. And then he attacks twice for seven and once with the leader. I mean, I cannot combo out of all of that. Uh, he attacks twice with seven, I just two, and once with the leader. So that's fine. I want, it, I want him to do it, so I'm gonna take it. This one is just more mana. I mean, still leaves me with a radical beam. Um, yeah, okay, that's what I s expected to be happen. Um, everything was according to what I was thinking it was gonna happen. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, this deck is still uh, very weak to being aggressive. Even though I didn't have as much removal, but still, being aggressive is good. Okay, and we don't have any play on turn two. I don't think that's what the deck wants to do, but it's fine. Deck is powerful enough to where, like, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Mm, I probably should not take this one. I'll just attack with this one here. Play my uh, teach. That card is going to attack one of my one drops eventually, so 
it, it probably is just fine to do this. Um, I'm gonna probably have to take that one. God. No one drops. <laughs> what did he do? Oh, he did this one. Okay. Well, get destroyed. I'm gonna attack for six. Uh, that one is the 2k Connor, which is fine. Here, I assume he wants to attack me against for uh, for this much. Which should I take? This one, I don't know. Because Big Mom and all these characters are coming out. But he's not coming out this turn, so it's fine to take this one. And I do need some cards because I haven't seen anything. I'll deploy on... Um, I guess I'll just pass. I haven't been able to see any of my good cards, so... It's been a little bit more difficult than it should be. But that gets me alive, so it's fine. Uh, I will not take any free damage here, though. Seven, however, is a bigger number, and I shouldn't take that one. Finally, some searchers. <laughs> uh, but I'm doing white beer here. And attacking the lead. I probably should attack this one. To be fair. Yeah, he does. He does want to keep his board. Now that I see it. But he should have blocked because I can just. I guess he doesn't want me to do white beer after white beer. Uh, which is fine. He wants to attack this one for sure because he attached to energy. So I'm going to let it die. And I don't think he wants to even attack with this one. Oh, he does. Okay. Interesting decision. Because I can just kill it. Okay, so he has enough attackers here to where that makes sense, I guess. He could have also the 5k Connor. Um, okay. Oh, he's just overwhelming me with, uh, with attacks here. Uh, but I will attack this one, KO this one. Uh, I guess I could have, but I think I'm going to use the, um, the cards that I have. So I'm not going to... Ooh, the Dawn searches for a one drop. I think I need combo counter power here. And yeah, let's get some counter power. And then attack for five. And that should be fine. And I just get some cards that I can attack with. Uh, is what I needed. I have to be careful of the uh, big mom here. Uh, to put me to zero. Oh, he's playing this one. Oh, okay. So that KOs a character that is four or less. If you have less life than your opponent. Okay. Yeah. Which he does. Is he going to attack at my leader? But he knows I have a radical beam. So that's not even a good attack. And then I have Nami, which is going to refill me a little bit. But I get the Jet Pistol here because I can KO this one. And now I don't even have to worry. Uh, I'll attack for 8. Just get rid of everything that he's got. Attack for 5. I'm sure he has a... He doesn't. Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> wow. Is that a... Oh, you get to play from the hand. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, that's that's game though. There's not no way that he can get through what I have. 
even with a big mom, it's just not good enough. Yep. Alright, so this is a good hand. And I feel like this deck doesn't have... Okay, we missed. And that's gonna happen a couple of the times. Especially I have two events in my hand. But since I have Nami and um, Buggy on the same turn, uh, I shouldn't miss again because, yeah, because of that. If I would have done it the other way, I wouldn't have missed at all, I think. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna just attack with everything. Because, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try to abuse the opponent a little bit here. He's an special character, so he can he can KO uh, my bogey. Um, it should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. If he plays a Borsalino, it should not be a problem. I will just attack for six. And play uh, Teach. Teach could be KO, however. So maybe uh, I should play Marco, but no, that's fine. If he wants to KO my Teach, is okay. Draw two cards, trash two cards from your hand. That's on play. And characters gets minus two. That seems like a decent card. But it's another four drop. Ah, it's a 2k counter too. I would like to take a damage. So I'm low, low on resources. That I I knew it could happen, but now I have an answer for the um, for this guy. Mm, I wonder. Yeah, I should just attack for seven, I guess. He combos out of that one, eh? And it should be fine. Um, the Jet Pistol did a lot because this card was going to pressure me a lot. I kind of want to catch something with the Marco. Uh, but it would be fine. Oh, I, I guess he does get some value out of the Nami. For free. Return to cars with and KO one of my opponents. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um... Uh, but again, I'm just gonna just jet pistol that guy. I'm um, gonna play a boogie and attack for a six, I guess. Can I attack with the Tama? Not really. Oh, so let's play the boogie first, I guess. Um, just attack for a big number. Oh, I could have. Uh, could have prevented. I I forgot that he kept a two energy up. I just played directly into his uh, his car for no reason. Okay, that was good. That was a good deck. Uh, this deck looks better next format for sure. Okay, look at the top three. Uh, it's a searcher. Okay. But I get to KO it for free with my Marco. And then here, I don't know. Oh, he's trying to deal me the damage. I think I can take it. That's fine. Kind of need place anyway. He doesn't have much. Doesn't even have removal. Uh, I will defend that one, I guess. I don't want to be caught up in there. I have to remove everything from my opponent's side. Um, but I will remove that guy because it's annoying to have that blocker every turn. Here, I will combo to that one and keep up one energy. Uh, use. Let's get rid of the, uh, the guard point.
Hmm. I cannot block, actually. <laughs> I mean, I could, but then... Yeah, I have to block. There's just another way around it. Okay, that was good. I'm gonna attack for five, because, I mean, he's gonna combo or not combo, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and we're gonna attack for five, because I need to keep up defense, and at the same time develop my board a little bit. And then the Dan is gonna give me an easel, I think. Yes. And Iso is gonna get me a white beer, I guess. And then let him go. We'll see what he wants to do. We have now enough attackers to threaten something. Um, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. I'll let it die. Oh, he has another one. Oh, that's a problem. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I definitely do, do have to do this and attack the leader. And end the turn here and hope that I can survive these two here. And I attempt to go for game the following turn, which is still not gonna be easy. It doesn't need to <laughs> add that much energy to it. You just had to go for game there. Does he have removal for the white beer too? Oh, that would be... That would be really bad. <laughs> I think he does. Oh, he just have a blocker that cannot be KO. Well, I don't have blockers, so I do have to probably go for game. No, I can't. He has to block this one, or... I mean, he still has two energy up. There's no way I can win this one. Yeah. That's two blockers. Yeah, he got me. I don't think I can do anything here. I did play into some cards, and I did play suboptimally, but... And I didn't find any of my early games, so... It was kind of like... A bad match, a bad game for me. All right, and for the final thoughts on our deck, um, I think it was uh, very good. I think it worked very well. The only match that I lost was because they were, I just didn't draw anything. I was really unlucky. I didn't draw any of my early game, and my late game just kept dying to my opponent's like efficient removal. So I was just, I was super behind the whole game. Uh, but I still was able to make a, a like a decent game out of that one. Uh, I think if I had like a little bit more of luck and that the end, like my opponent had a good curve when they was uh, like tr like stumbling. Uh, so that's it, it happens from time to time, and it is what it is. You have to uh, take the losses when when they come. But for the rest of the, the deck, the deck seems really good, and um, I think it's just a juggernaut of the next format. It's probably gonna be. Uh, something that you have to be like actually main decking answers to because it's gonna be like So powerful that it's gonna oppress so many decks in the format uh, But with that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day